Kyle Vogt resigning from his role over the weekend. Now, this comes weeks after the company, a subsidiary of GM, suspended its autonomous operations after several traffic incidents, including an accident where its vehicle dragged a woman more than 20 feet. For more on this, Yahoo Finance reporter Pras Romanian is here to break all of this down. Hey, Pras. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, so Kyle Vaught, he tweeted out last night that he was leaving the company, uh, you know, as far as crews halting its operations, autonomous operations across the country and recalling its vehicles for a safety issue uh, and had its permit removed, remo- uh, permit revoked in California, all based on that on that one major accident there in San Francisco where a woman was was hit by a uh, hit and run driver, launched into the intersection and the crews drove a taxi hit her, ran over her, and dragged her. So not very good there. So in an internal email, Kyle Vaught said to employees, this is uh, secured by Reuters, that he said the company veered off course during his leadership and there was no sugarcoating what happened. So pretty uh, pretty uh, sad there for what's going on with Cruz. Not sure what's, what's left for the company going forward. Probably a pause there, and then we'll see if they can sort of reform it. But bottom line, this is a another black guy for the self-driving tech, autonomous tech industry. You had Argo AI backed by Ford and VW uh, getting shut down. And then, of course, Tesla's FSD, uh, various investigations there with, the, with NHTSA and also the DOJ as well. Certainly some of those enthusiastic timelines we heard from the likes of Elon Musk about when we'd be getting fully autonomous driving, you know, widespread out here, not not living up to it. But in terms of what this means for GM, when you add this to what's already been happening for the company, where do things stand? You know, GM this year had started off on the on, on the on the on a, on a right step here. Right, had had really good earnings first, second quarter. They they boosted their profit guidance uh, forecast both times, but then. In the back half of the year, some issues, right? First off, you had the, the UAW strike, uh, that shutting down production for more than six weeks. And then GM having problems there, getting their deal ratified. A lot of workers, older workers, not happy with the deal. Eventually, they got that squeaked through. The, the members there uh, approved it. So that's past them. But they took a big you know, big hit from, from Q3 earnings. About uh, Paul, CFO Paul Jacobs, Jacobson said that earnings were hit by $800 million bucks in Q3, that was as of the end of October, so there's gonna be more of an effect there. And then we also saw them push back their EV plans. Um, they delayed a factory conversion in Michigan that was gonna build some some EV pickups. They delayed that till 2025. They've cut their their targets for where, what they see in terms of EV production. Um, they they then uh, reduced what they see as, what, as how much they're gonna build by 2025. And, and then uh, combined with what happened with the crews today uh, or over the weekend, you see sort of three big headaches this year and for the stock, it's it's down a lot this year compared to the market. The question is, can CEO Mary, Mary Barrett get things right, get going in 2024, 2025, uh, get the stock where it needs to be compared to its competitors?